your hosts, Stephen Edwards and Maureen Edwards. Just continuing on with anger and how it presents. And I think that fidgeting thing that you were saying in our last episode, Stephen, is is very, very true. Another thing that can happen is that pacing that can happen where a person starts going back and forth, walking back and forth, or they they might even just get more faster in their motions. That's not probably the right word. They, they quicken their motions. Things become faster, like they start doing things in a more rapid way. And what I've noticed in some people is that there can be a stance or a posturing that can happen when somebody is about to explode or is exploding where they can puff out their chest maybe a little bit more. They might raise their head a little bit more. They might um, be talking over a person versus towards a person, right? It's like, it's, it's kind of like this lording over. And it can be um, a, a kind of a dominating position during an anger response. Absolutely. And I think another thing that happens um, in regards to the, that puffing out the chest is their body gets very clenched. It's almost like you start turning into a bit of like a statue. Uh, your hands mm-hmm. will clench together. Your, your shoulders will kind of get tight and brought in a bit. Uh, it's almost like your entire body is convulsing. Right. And that's why uh, a lot of people, when they're angry, if they have something in their hands, uh, it's going to be an instinct to to throw it. I know that's definitely something uh, that I deal with, is that any time I would be uh, going through that that anger, if I have anything expendable in my hand, and, you know, especially if I'm outside or in an environment where I'm not going to break anything, because you still have some, some reasoning going involved there's a good chance it's going to get thrown. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, And what you said about that clenching of the hands, another symptom, it could be sweating. So there could be sweating in the forehead, sweating in the armpits, sweating throughout the whole body and having clammy and sweaty hands. That's another response that can be happening for, for the anger. So I think it's really important like for people to kind of figure out, okay, what are my symptoms? What things happen for me in my body? How can I be aware of these even when they're just starting? Because like you said, you still have jurisdiction over your, your prefrontal cortex in the beginning stages, but we have to catch it. You have to really catch it before it goes because it can go very quickly. Yes. And uh, I think it's important that we we talk about what does catching it mean and how can we begin to de-escalate in different environments. Sounds good. <laughs> 